What's the story that we're not talking about, Dan, because we're so busy talking about the Eagles, Dallas, Niners, Mahomes? Well, I think the NFC South is interesting because somebody's going to win and they're going to host a playoff game. I don't know. I mean, going to New Orleans, uh, somebody could lose in New Orleans if they host. Uh, Atlanta may be hosting a playoff game. I thought that coach's job might be in jeopardy. He could actually win the division and still have his job in jeopardy. Todd Bowles in Tampa could have his job in jeopardy. They could win the division. It's it's one of those that you you don't want to acknowledge the NFC South, but you have to. And I we've seen this before where you know teams with a losing record end up hosting a playoff game. And I wonder about that, Amy. If you think the NFL would ever go. We don't want a losing a team with a losing record to host a playoff game. We don't think that that's fair. Um, you know, Dan, you see it, that? I, it's interesting that you raise that. And of course, there's a league meeting this week in um, I think it's in Dallas, but irrespective of where it is, um, when you just asked that question, it reminded me of league meetings that I attended for almost 30 years. And it was a subject of discussion. But the fact is, the way the league is designed, someone's going to win each division. And by the way, when I started in the league, there weren't eight divisions. There were fewer divisions, and the divisions were different. Someone gets to win every division. And this was a topic of discussion. And so was seeding, which is if you win your division, but let's say you win with a losing record or barely a winning record, should you still be seeded? ahead of a wild card team. These were debated a lot, but the consensus was to leave it as it is. Now you're more polite than I am about the NFC South. I jokingly suggested it might need to be relegated, but yeah. someone is going to win that division. And by the way, don't count out Baker Mayfield. Well, I, the, the analogy that I used was Florida state, the, the uh, college football playoff committee could look at Florida state and say, we don't want them in. And they left them out. The NFL can't do that to the NFC South if that team has a losing record. Whereas college football said, that's a wounded animal there. Maybe not the best team to be in the final four. We have control over that. The NFL has control over just about everything. But if they were the college football playoff committee, they they, they would probably say, you know what? Uh, we just came up with a new <laughs> rule. The winner of the NFC South is not going to host a playoff game. And then we would go, sure. But with college football, we're like, how dare you do that to Florida State? But they were able to control what they could control, and they did it. And, of course, the NFL can't do that unless they get a vote from ownership to change the rule. And that was a debate I heard at league meetings for many, many, many years, which is should that rule be changed? And there was never a consensus that it should. Check out new episodes of What the Football with Susie Schuster and Amy Trask every Tuesday. Watch us on the Rich Eisen Show YouTube page or follow and listen wherever you get your podcasts.